All right, greetings and salutations. Welcome to my amazing show. Once again, I'm your host, the great and mighty Mr. Perez, and today I'll be playing more of the Taylor's Principle 2. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back in. All right, let's go to the new tower. Right there, yeah. Flooded Valley. Next area, huh? You're on your way to an island. Yes, another island. Sorry, Melville. Well, it actually used to be a valley between the mountains, but it's mostly It used now. to. That probably happened long before the founder came here, though. Another legacy of our ancestors. Do me a favor, will you? Look for another one of the Founders' labs. We can't All right, I'll see what I can do. Without getting to the third site in the north, but I need more information to make more fixes. Uh huh. Ooh, that's a neat little tower. Okay. One! Absorption. That's pretty neat. In the beginning, before we built New Jerusalem, we used to explore just like this. Small groups setting out for the horizon, looking for resources, trying to make sense of the world we'd been thrust into, trying to find a way forward. It was a hard time, but I can't deny it, hmm. but it was also okay. exciting. I think it's part of our nature to be wanderers. Our ancestors crossed entire oceans on flimsy wooden boats just to see what else there was. Is it weird to feel nostalgic for a time I never experienced? I just yeah, I mean, I exploring stuff is pretty so fun. Much more back then. It's not weird, but it wasn't all sunshine. People died. Yemo, Calvin, Isaac, I know I'm. They were family to me. Sorry, it didn't mean to reopen old wounds. It's a legitimate point, but I don't think it invalidates the sense of wonder we felt. That's what kept us going. Thank you. 
Okay, now how can I... I get the idea. I think I need to charge this. Aiming at both of these, but... This needs to be constant. Okay, so how can I get this to work without both of these intersecting? I could do that. There's something I'm missing here. Unless, I have an idea. Ah, 
Aha! That's it. Okay. Sweet. Done and done. Hehe. <laughs> Hey, another flame. I think that lowers somehow. Hmm. Oh, got it. <laughs> Rossing. Oh, I can't get it. Damn. Messed that up. Ah, oh, that's all. Okay. So let me get that box. I'll take this jammer. history here that we can't see the founder must have walked these paths hundreds of times maybe thousands Miranda must have stood no I'm right guessing hundreds where we're standing <laughs> this all looks alien to us but it, it must have been familiar to them if this was their home where are they now they must be inside the mega structure waiting for us to pass the test it's the only thing that makes sense Uh, let me do this one first, actually. Wellspring?
see a red. But that connector is a blue. I had to do this with just one, huh? So then... I could do this. Then from here... Do... That. There we go. Done and done. Clouds continue to be exactly the same. How about that? But what do they do? Aside from unlocking gates. Hidden puzzle. Field of view. Oh, wrong door. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do that...
There we go. I solved it. Any device spins? Yeah, just look at this little thing spin. It's neat. It's not a little good. Another one of those. Would it still spin if you sap someone with it? Probably. You just need the power of it first. Oh wait, I was just stuck. Yeah, thanks for the look, Illyria. I'll be here uh, solving more puzzles. Going, uh, Big Bang Move. As the uh, kitties would say. Hello, 1K. What's up? Did you know the founder? I sure did. Not as well as Byron, but she was still around when I was born. Aha. Uh -huh. I remember she came and talked to me after New Alexandria, told me how sorry she was. Sorry. I never blamed her for that. It wasn't her responsibility. What's New Jerusalem like when you were born? A lot busier than it is now. My most defining memory is that it was extremely noisy because something was always being built. Got annoying after a while. And now everything's built. <laughs> What do you think about the body replication tech? <laughs> it seems like something that could very quickly get out of control. You know that saying about good intentions? If we can solve problems by just making more people, how long before people just become a problem-solving tool? Good point. What do you think about Miranda's idea that it's our duty to spread life? Our ancestors thought they could introduce new species to existing ecosystems. And it never turned out well. I don't think that applies to places where there is no life, like other planets. There's no life there now, but you can't see the future. You might be wiping out a whole ecosystem that hasn't even gotten started yet. What was New Alexandria like? For some reason, we'd convinced ourselves that New Jerusalem wasn't enough. That we needed another city. We thought it would be easier the second time around. All it takes is a little bit of arrogance and a little bit of ignorance. And people die. Hmm. Well, that's it. Five. Balance of forces. This one seems self-explanatory. Yeah. 
done and done. Meldo? What is it now? Why did you upload a picture of your hand? Why do you care that my hand is in the picture? Your hand isn't in the picture, it is the picture. I like it. It's very... artistic. Let's stay professional, everyone. It's not right to make fun of Melville's comically absurd inability to take decent pictures. <laughs> He's a hyper-advanced humanoid machine, not a photographer. You'll pay for this, Byron. Is it possible that on some level, people want to believe that everything's going to get worse? That it's comforting to think that humanity is bad and every solution will just go wrong? Because that way, you're never responsible. You never have to take on responsibility for anything outside yourself. Never have to grow up. to get that green though somehow. Could be a problem. Maybe it doesn't have to be, though.
There we go. Figured it out. Oh, I should view this new content. <laughs> we should bring back dogs. <laughs> we should bring them back except pugs. I mean, as kind of mean as this sounds, yeah, pugs don't really have an easy time breathing. I wonder what happens if I say this. Yeah. It sounds magical. Ancient human farmer. I think I remember playing this. Yeah, you go take care. I'll go down here. Another one of these lost labs, huh? Oh, hey, Byron. This is where they must have lived. Athena and Miranda. You know, for uh, a moment, could be. I almost expected to find them here. Nah, it wouldn't be that easy. But the only thing that's still functional is the megastructure. I'm sorry. This must be awfully strange for you being thrown into all this history. But that's why I needed you. Because you're not burdened with all these memories and conflicts and regrets and you are on our minds like a nightmare <laughs> nightmare our civilization is caught in a loop 1k we freed ourselves from the simulation but now we're trapped again and it's our own fault we're afraid of taking responsibility afraid of growing up see instead we make up some capitalized words and build up all these myths around them. Nature, balance, the founder, the goal. We're afraid to like face the tone. randomness of the cosmos, but equally afraid to imagine a better world. So we're stuck. I've been trying to find a way out for years. Something, anything to get people to understand that we do actually have free will. That building a thriving, expanding civilization doesn't have to involve repeating the mistakes of the past. But I failed. Over and over. And you think what we discovered here could change things? Yes. Because this is something unexpected. An anomaly. It's new. Everything we found on this island well, actually, challenges no. who it's we have become. Pretty old, actually, but it shows us it's new to New Jerusalem. Different answers are possible, and maybe that can break people out of the loop. All we need is a spark. Maybe that's why she made all this: the puzzles, the towers, a way of jolting us out of our complacency. I hope so. Thank you, One K. I hope so too. We might be wrong, but let's be optimistic. Now, let's see what else we can find here. Oh, I found this.
There's so much room. Melville, oh. eyes on one case stream. Is this thing what I think it is? Blow my fuse box. It sure looks that way. Best not touch it until I get there. Oh, okay. Why not? Because you have no idea what you're dealing with, 1K. Oh. <laughs> Tell me then. I think it's a somnodrome. It's a sort of analytics tool for processing mental data that Melampus dreamed up. But all he Melampus. ever did was sketch out the theory. As far as I'm aware, he never actually built one. Looks like the founder gave it a go. Can you explain it like I was born well, yesterday? <laughs> what we know is that our deeper algorithms are hard to pass. Melampa stipulated that the computational power to interpret them in real time would always be beyond us. But in theory, the Somnodrome would interpret that data and loop it directly to our senses. People were hoping to find answers to the big questions by having a conversation with our own subconscious. If you ask me, it's solipsistic at best. It's pseudoscience regardless. That may be. But if the founder figured it out, then that device could be an extremely important discovery. We should study it. I agree. The data on that device could prove invaluable. Besides, you may have survived all those data stream overloads, but interface with that thing and you're liable to get bricked. Sounds like a plan. Melville, I'm shutting this thing down until you can get here. 1K, get on with exploring the rest of the lab. Okay. Hey, a rock! Ooh, is this a teleportation test? go again. The singularity sustained itself longer this time. Did we get the data? We did. I think we just obsoleted quantum physics. Maybe. Is that so? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need to be able to replicate these results. You know, I've been wondering. You told me that in the simulation, one thing that kept you motivated was looking for answers. Do you think that with the work we're doing, we'll ever run out of questions to ask? I no. don't think so. Trying to understand the universe means asking the same question over and over. How? How do you make fire? How do earthquakes happen? How does gravity work? How do particles behave? You keep digging deeper, finding another set of mechanisms, another set of hows. Step by step, you demystify reality. But then, if you keep doing it long enough, one day, you run out. You've answered all the hows. You know how the universe works. So, now what? Now you ask, why? Isn't that the next step? Hmm, it's not quite that easy. The question of why cannot be answered. Even if it could, it would only be followed by another why. At some point, you have to accept that it all just... exists. But there is another set of questions. What's next? You've stripped away the layers of mystery. You've laid bare the machinery. Now you have to start building to add your own layers of meaning. Mm. Are you okay? You overloaded again. Oh, I saw Athena again. Yes, I saw. It came through on your stream. I wonder Strange how that's to hear her voice again. But that was her. The way I remember her. The real Athena, not this imaginary founder. 
How well did you know her? I'd like to think I knew her well. There was just a handful of us in those days. Small family in the ruins of a dead civilization. It was hard. Harder than anyone else can possibly imagine. I bet. We had nothing except what Alexandra Drennan and the Institute had left us. Now that everyone lives in civilization, they don't understand how necessary it was for us to build that civilization. They can fantasize about living in balance, limiting growth, retreating behind our walls. They don't understand what it really means to live in the wilderness. How close we came to not making it. How many people we lost. Yemma was just the first. But Athena understood. She believed in humanity. She believed in us. In the inherent value of consciousness. Her dreams were so much bigger. She wanted us to reclaim the Earth. To reach for the stars. To build and grow and learn. So why should she remember that way? The city was already changing before she left, turning inwards, forgetting the future. Once she was gone, other people shaped her memory, turned her into the symbol they needed. I understand all that, as depressing as it may be. Yeah, I see that. What I don't understand is why she didn't tell me. If she came here to do all this, why didn't she bring me along? It must have been hard to lose your mentor. It was. But maybe I was wrong. And she isn't as lost as I thought she was. If this is all a test, maybe the answer is waiting for us in the megastructure. Maybe. Speaking of which, let's get back to exploring. Melville should have reconnected the next station by now. Oh, it's a little... okay. Alright, let's do number seven. Hmm, what does this lead? Another hidden puzzle. Lateral inhibition.
I can power that up. I don't know turn on this fan, but I need at least one of these. I need one of these two to just stand on to keep on that so I can get in there. Interesting. Come you think. Wait a minute. I know what I have to do. No, 
don't think that'll work. Ah, no, that's not gonna work. Yeah, that idea is not gonna work. It's like another connector I could have. Hmm. I wonder... Cancels. Okay, showing two inverts of the same beam will cancel each other out. What if? Haha! -ha! That should do the trick. Two seven Rainbow.
close, but not quite. I'm missing something. I did something similar to. I think it was the second puzzle. Yeah. But these vendors, there's two of them now. Wait a minute. Unless. There we go. I think this is it. Yeah! Figured it out. Haha! -ha. Sweet. Did you see how 1K solved that one? No, sorry. Oh, it was really clever. It was pretty sweet. Once I figured it out and all. Oh yeah, I got a message. something over there. Hey, Melville. What you doing? What you up to? I've been wondering. What? What made our ancestors settle in these godforsaken places? To see if they could. easy with those frail, squishy bodies of theirs. What makes a caveman go, yes, this frozen hellscape is where I want to live out my days? You think Byron was right? Is it in our nature to be wanderers? Well, we do like to overcome challenges. We do, don't we? A species of problem solvers, like Drenin said. Yeah, exactly. That must be why I sometimes find myself imagining building new cities. I wanted to ask you about something else. Alright. Did you meet the founder? Of course I did. She and Cornelius were both there when I was born. Neath was just starting to take over back then, and they were still showing other ropes. What was the founder like? Busy. There was always... Did you know that she never upgraded her body? Always I think I could tell. prioritized everyone else. That's the kind of work ethic I wish more people had. I agree, but there also needs to be space for other things. I suppose so. For me, living is... But I understand that other people have more varied needs. Yeah, I suppose. Do you have a queer companionship? I've never felt the need for... I've met a lot of people who do... Athena, Atal, Sarabai and... But that's not... So far. But I do have social needs, like... What I love, a pleasant buzz of not too close, not too far. Something I can be part of. Do these visions affect my mind? The data stream, I yes, they could. What? There are safeguards to prevent that from happening. Oh, okay. But these aren't exactly carefully controlled circumstances. It's hard to predict. Our brains are absurdly complicated, which is why it's... Why do you think the founder left New Jerusalem? Maybe she just got sick of. So what exactly can these political as cards far as do? I can tell anything which is in. Anything. I think they mentioned a singularity. Yes, she could be talking about, like the point within a black, but the term. I assume there are safe ways of experimenting with this. There is safe plus the planet. I guess. We're how do you feel about me or Herman? I used to think keep things. No, I'm not so sure that ever made. Sense. What do you think, of Miranda? She's so innocent and metaphorically speaking, but I'll admit, she's sort of 
charming. <laughs> okay, I need to get back to work. Hey, last one in this area. Remember. I don't know exactly what we're remembering, but it, it has to be something. Oh, there's that connector. Yoink. that box, don't I? that box. Pretty sure I do at least. Remember.
nasty. What am I missing here? What am I missing? Do you think? Maybe I could grab that. Something doesn't seem quite right. I need to power that. Thank you. 
see. I can get that right there. enough. Unless I do this. Oh, look at that. As long as I get it really close, I can have that go over the gates. Sweet. Alright. Done and done. Mm. Odd. One K solved all the puzzles in this area, but nothing happened. There was a brief blip in the system, though. Maybe it'll do something later. There has to be some sort of point. I suppose. Hmm. Skynet. Maybe because they're too used to no one else caring. the story of the carpenter who died to redeem humanity's sins. It's a powerful story. That's the golden Bit game. Sweet, very human. And I just want to tell you that it's true. He was a real person. And his name was John. John Carpenter. He was born in the year 1948 and he was the coolest filmmaker to ever walk the earth. From Halloween to The Thing to They Live, the totally ah, underrated fan. in the mouth Pretty of Madness, based. mind you. He just made classic after classic. All of his movies, really fun, really atmospheric, but also really smart. Even when they were goofy, most directors would kill to have made just one of those movies. And what did he get for it? A big, fat truckload of nothing. Well, <laughs> less than nothing. The studios, the critics, even the fans, they hated him. The Thing, okay, for example, which is about as perfect a movie as you can make, completely torn to I shreds. I still need to watch that movie, and The Thing. his career never really recovered. Every movie after that was a struggle, and after a while, he just got tired of it and quit. He only really came back to movies in his 70s. How many works of genius did we never get because of that? Look, Probably a I lot. have a point here. People like Carpenter, I know we didn't get a like Dead Alex. Space movie. They're not always that would have been cool. In their own time. If you just do what's popular, you might never create anything important. Of course, we admire people who did the right thing, who didn't conform, but we only ever admire them after the fact. What matters is to support people when it's difficult. Okay. There we go. Sometimes it seems the only choices we have are renouncing civilization or mindless expansion. But that's not the only path forward. Embracing deliberate control over nature doesn't have to mean destruction. We are a species of artists and There artists, we go. Blessed with the ability to transform the raw material of the cosmos into new and better Sweet. shapes. Shapes that have meaning. With our technology, we can take this chaotic world so full of suffering and turn it into a work of art. Halt, creature of clay. Hello, Pandora. You have taken another step towards the flame. Before you continue, ask yourself, have the gifts of Prometheus ever truly benefited your people? Or have they brought nothing but strife? Hmm, good question. Lady, I'm a robot. Oh, we didn't make mistakes in using them, but the good outweighs the bad. And you repeat your mistakes until they destroy you. Okay. I've been 
thinking. There's three towers per cardinal direction and three yeah. entities. You'd think it would be symmetrically arranged. One tower per entity, right? But we haven't seen Prometheus at all. We're built to find patterns. Maybe we're trying to find patterns where there aren't any. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, it's fine. Right, one more tower to go, and then we can unlock another part of the mega structure. Lost marshes. Sweet. This area looks flooded as well. Our ancestors melted a whole lot of ice. After they died, most coastal settlements were claimed by the sea. South of New Jerusalem, there's a whole city under the water. Oh, I sweet. Once with Garrus when I was an apprentice. It was eerie. That's exactly why the founder created the goal. When you go past the limits, this is what happens. Mother Nature always gets her revenge in the end. Somehow. This isn't revenge, Al. It's just failure. People, cities, mountains. As far as the sea is concerned, it's all the same. Their mistake was forgetting that. Telling themselves nothing would change. It always does. So these monuments represent each of the entities. Pandora, the Sphinx, and Prometheus. Makes sense, I guess. For a given value of sense. Find my sprite and follow until it leads you back to me. Substitution. Keep going. I've had a closer look at the Somdrome. It's based on the original prototype with some modifications. As usual, the data is a mess, but I strongly suspect there might be a functional version somewhere. I know some of you have heard stories about the answers this device might reveal, but please remember that is not our main priority here. Keep an eye open for it, but focus on finding Athena. Right. Right. Coal mines.
Hmm. Nothing around here. Okay. Possibilities. content. Scrap shed is escape. Drill. There we go. Gotcha. I'm glad to see all those overloads haven't damaged your logic circuits. <laughs> like a couple data overloads could stop me from being so s smart. Oh shit. Smart? Oh fuck. Oh, okay, no, it's shallow water. That's fine. So this way, then what's over here? That looks like another lost puzzle. Let's let's try to solve it. All around.
Hmm. I'm supposed to do this. There we go. That's right, the snow. So I need that inverter.
I only have like another thing to trade. that for sure but I also need this in the rotor Let me think. That could probably work. I'll take this. There we go. That's more like it. Haha. <laughs> done and done. Way to go, me. Wandering around these landscapes, <laughs> solving puzzles. In a way, 1K's experience must be very similar to Athena's in the simulation. There's one difference, though. There Athena is? Athena was alone. Until she wasn't. Oh shit, a deer! Alright. Number four. Prison. I could see that. Man, 
not yet. Yoink. I need to create a little staircase. Wait, I got a new dude. Yeah. That's more like it. Hee <laughs> hee.
Oh shit, I trapped myself. Damn it. <sighs> Alright. There we go. That's more like it. Ha ha! It's a good thing these lasers don't actually damage me. Oh, wow. of the island is completely dead. No animals, no plants. The soil is too alkaline for anything to live except bacteria. Yes, that's why it's a good location for some of the experiments. Well, if we want to show that we can make the cosmos more beautiful, then why don't we start there? The desert doesn't have to be dead. If we modify the conditions, life can thrive there. And that could be the first step towards spreading life to other worlds. What do you think? I think that sounds like a plan.
Uh oh. Actually, maybe I'm looking at this wrong. I don't need red. I need blue. That's what I've been missing. But the question is... Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Yeah. Aha. There we go. think about how many cities there are out there under the ocean cities where people lived for thousands of years cities with their own history their own culture all of it lost under the waves if they'd been less greedy they could have kept all that i don't think we can pass moral judgment on an entire species based on the decisions of a handful of leaders but i do think they made a mistake they stopped That's definitely a the lab. Hill. They stopped seeing the romance of civilization. Okay. It's dark in here. Maybe this one. A 
ending the endings always suck. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. Seems I need something to put that on, though. Okay, that's seven, but I need to do six. Yeah, numero seis. And down and all around. that box. that Question is, how do I get that box in there? Well, this is the trick.
don't see any other objects I could pick up. Wait a minute. Take that. That makes red. Yo, Alluria, thank you so much for the raid. Yeah, welcome on in, Raiders. I am the great and mighty Mr. Perez, and right now I'm trying to solve some puzzles in the Talos Principle, too. You to get some noms? Alright, take care, Alaria. Go get some food. In the meantime... Aha! That's more like it. Sweet! Oh, hey, a toy minnow. Yeah. Let's go ahead and give Aluri a shout out. Uh, I think I spotted right. Actually, wait, I gotta just do this.
I should really make that bigger. You look a bit here since you're working. All right, yeah, you can go uh, go do your work, Violet. <laughs> cool, but thanks for the lurk. What do you have to say? Something I really like about Alex, one of the reasons why I'm here doing this, is that she's really humble. She has this incredibly positive view of humanity. She believes we can accomplish anything, but it's not about her. She doesn't think that she's smarter or better than anyone else. She just a looks potion. at us as a species. And even though she can see how small we are in the grand scheme of things, she thinks that we could conquer the stars and give meaning to the universe. Even now, even when none of us are going to live to see it. Isn't that awesome? Hmm. Actually, let me start over. Propulsion. Let's see. Hmm. Yes, yeah, I need to invert that. A little swap. Looking at this wrong. Potion. 
Yeah. I need to reconnect this, so if I had to guess... I need to make that red. But how? I forget I could do that. There we go. That's more like it. And that's how we do it. He better be. <laughs> and burp. <laughs> hey, sushi. Let me see. And one more to go. Transmission. Put that down. Grab you. Oh shit. A connector. I had a guess.
Yeah. No, oh, I'm missing something here. God damn it, I don't need you there. Okay, if I get up there. You put you there. Yoink. There we go. Gotcha. Sweet. Okay. I'm all done. Oh, hey, another recording. Would you like to play a game? A game? That a game? like fun. It is. Remember what Alexandra Drennan said about games? They're part of what makes us human. Exactly. And this is a yes. game Alexandra Drennan designed when she was still in school. It's based on her favorite book. Have a go. Aha! Sweet! Sweet! Ah! Oh, hey, Prometheus! Hear me, friend, and heed my words. Okay. Beware Pandora. She is nothing but fear and despair. And she I mean, yeah, that's pretty obvious. To prevent you from reaching the flame. It is she who disrupted the trials of the Sphinx and who bound me in the. Well done, One K. Looks like our hypothesis was correct. The mega structure is opening again. Yeah. Everyone, come to the VTOL, please. It's time to find Athena. What about Pandora? She seems capable of displacing or controlling the other entities. We should be careful. 
but we can't let such a vague threat paralyze us. Nah. Just keep your eyes open. <laughs> Make a structure. There's something I've been thinking about. Uh oh. I know the new Alexandria disaster was traumatic. I know accidents like that make us think that it's best to stick to what we have. But what about all the accidents that have happened in New Jerusalem that nobody talks about? The collapse of the Rakowski building. That was a the thing. Calvin Street explosion. Same with that. The derailment that almost killed Benaroya and Canada. All of those happened because we stopped investing enough resources in our civilization. And if Melville hadn't been put in charge of city maintenance, this would still be happening. It will happen again either way. With how little we have to work with. And we don't have a lot. It's a matter of time. You see, there may be a price for pursuing progress, but there's also a price for not pursuing it. Mm, to pursue or not to pursue? That is the question. Let's go. All right, here we go again. Ah, oh, shit. Our main objective is to determine the relationship between the megastructure and Athena. Did she find it? Did she build it? Why was she here in the first place? Explore, dig up anything you can. We need to start finding answers. I can't imagine one person building all this. Don't forget about Miranda. There were at least two of them. I can't imagine a hundred people building this. There's definitely quite a few. I imagine quite a few people built this thing. Have a look around, but stay in touch and be careful. 1K, can you stay a moment? I'd like to talk to you. Okay. All right, I guess we're talking. I know you can't wait to start exploring, but just hear me. Oh. I'm concerned. Byron is brilliant, but all he can think about is the possibility of finding Athena. She was his mentor, and her disappearance shattered him. I'm afraid he's not seeing the dangers of the megastructure. Of which there are many. To me, this place seems chaotic dysfunction oh, but that's so fun yes, it's i love chaos but i think it's broken <laughs> and what we're seeing is uh it's nonsense frankly you've interacted with it more than anyone what do you think what do i think hmm what do I think? To be honest, I think it's intentional. So you see it that way too, huh? Well, maybe I'm wrong. I hope so. But please, be careful. I'll see what I could do. <gasps> we'll just go in the mega structure. Deeper into the mega structure. Not quite sure where I am. Seem to be right in the middle of the machinery. Please watch yourself, Byron. This is incredible. I don't do you please? Know how to describe what I'm seeing. I don't think this is a building. I think this is a machine. A machine? Sure. 
trials. Oh, a door of right. Uh oh. Why don't you just tell people that they're wrong? If you tell them the truth, they'll listen. It's not that simple. Straton wrote that the most common error we commit is to think that ideas determine reality. When in ah, fact, the opposite Cornelius. is true. Ideas follow from material conditions. Belief systems are formed to explain and justify the way we live. We did not have kings because we believed in the mandate of heaven. We believed in the mandate of heaven because we lived in monarchies. But we have free will. Oh, free will isn't the same as freedom, Miranda. We're not you, free from the constraints of reality or history. Uh, I was shaped I think I by am. the simulation. I open another part of this New mega structure thing. Is shaped by its limitations. So, what? We're just trapped? History can only go one way? Maybe, maybe not. The question mm -hmm. is, how do we free ourselves? How do we build a world where our ideas do shape reality? That's why we came here. Hmm. I knew it! Athena's here. She built this. That other voice. Was that Cornelius? It definitely sounded like him. Come to think of it, he went on a research expedition around the time Athena vanished. He was gone for years. People thought he'd died. And all this time, he knew where she was? We should talk Interesting. to him. Interesting. We will, when we get back. But right now, we have to focus on finding Athena. We are so close. I don't think so. I'd say after this, I'd be about halfway there. <laughs> Anti-gravity panels? Are those surfaces magnetic? Oh. No. Oh, well, I mean, I guess technically right. it's... I should have known. I guess technically, considering I am an android... 1K, I'm over here. Magnetic does work Hold the on. same as... I'll open that door for you. Uh, anti-gravity. Oh, there you are. Trist Athena is dead. Imagine. Same pattern as before. Three beams, three receivers. I guess we know what to do. Be careful. I'm gonna jump on the this. Sheer amount of power running through this place. I'll take care of this puzzle. You do the other two, okay? This is kind of fun. Maybe Alexandra Drennan was right. Play is part of what makes us human. Now you get it. And after how many puzzles I've solved so far? Got it. Oh, you already got the red. That's good. There we go.
Ah, puzzle. So long like enough. Okay, I need to open that. Let's go find the green. This way. I think the ground is shaking. And of According point? to the system, all parts of the interior are moving around. Like it's rearranging itself. I think that's what happened last time. When I took the elevator, the platform where I got out just moved away. There we go. The gate's opening. I'm heading in. What? Without me? Oh, come on. I want to see it too, you know. scene for you no i'm gonna see it i'm gonna see what's in there just you wait
There we go. Aha! There we go. Okay, what's in here? What's in here? I want to see. I want to see. This is fascinating. They were both here, Athena and Cornelius. They had a plan. I found a file that... Oh, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't... I, 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 I... Uh... Oh no! God damn it. trapped in the overload. He's failing to disconnect. The whole system's going haywire. One k get out of there! Everyone back to the VTOL! God damn it. I was supposed to see that. Ah, uh, fine. We can't just leave Byron behind. Yeah, Coot, we have no idea where he is or what's happening to him. But right now, if we stay here, we could all die. The system's going completely bananas. Energy spikes everywhere. We'll come back for Byron, I promise. Uh oh. What have you done, you fools? Mortals are not meant to tread these halls. Why will you not heed my warnings? I am not trying to harm you, creatures of clay. All I wish is to protect you and the rest of your kind. What more must I do to make you understand? Uh, if you cannot be reasoned damn it. with, I must bar your path. Yeah, yeah, I'm going as fast as I can. <sighs> These energy emissions are messing with the VTOL systems. Okay, I think I've got it working. You think? Get here quickly, 1K. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Wait, I think this is the way I came in from. Yeah, it is. Okay. Gotta get out of here. Come on, come on, get in! Get us out of here, Yakut. Oh shit. Okay. The southern sites are active. The, the southern side jumbled, though. Should I set us down? Yes, but just to drop off Melville. What? We're going back to New Jerusalem. The situation has gotten out of control. We need to regroup. Rushing in blindly isn't going to save Byron, but we also need someone to stay here and keep an eye on things. Melville, so let you. me. All right, I'll see if I can make any sense of these systems while you're gone. Just keep a safe distance, okay? Will do. 
good. Mm-hmm. Well, 1K, I guess it's time for you and me to take a nap. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, Do him. lose hope, my child. In these difficult moments, find solace in your friends and in the home that you share. Okay. Here we are. Got an update from Melville. The power spikes are continuing, but no news from Byron. All right. Thank you, Yakut. You get the VTOL ready for the next trip. I'll talk to the mayor. But what okay. if I Please want to talk to the Museum of the Simulation and talk to Cornelius? Let's see. What oh, now I gotta to go over there. Himself. Okay. The world is full of suffering. Every living organism suffers. Animals kill other animals to eat. And it always ends with death torn apart or wasting away. This is what surrounds us. This is what's happening outside those walls. Every hour of every day. <sighs> it's our ethical responsibility as sentient beings to lessen suffering. That's what it means to be human. To understand that it is your duty to transform this world into something better. That's what the founder meant when she said that we can turn the world into a work of art. Despite what happened to him, Byron was right. We have to keep going. This is blasphemy. Byron was punished for failing the Founder's trials. And you want us to dig deeper? Just because you can't accept that suffering is natural and necessary? Please, everyone, <laughs> stop using the public frequency. If you want to argue, use your interface or speak in person. I bet that's a fantastic idea, speaking in person. After what just happened. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ooh, it's cloudy. Good to know there are still guitars. Good to see you, 1K. Yes, it's great to be back. Hi, 1K. See, I told you it was a thief. Hey, what's up? 1K, welcome back to the city. What's As up? As you can tell, your discoveries have had quite the impact. I heard your speech. I decided to take a stand. It started with what you said about extending our cat's lifespans, actually. That you got did? Me thinking about our responsibilities towards other life forms. That's pretty cool. What's life to most living creatures? Fear, hunger, pain, and in the end, death. Involuntary cessation of existence. That's horrifying, 1K, horrifying. And we are the only ones who can make it better. No, I agree. That's good to hear. I wasn't sure where you'd stand after some of the things you've said. Please, when you get back to the island, stand up for Byron's ideas. Don't let people forget that a different future is possible. I mean, I gotta save Byron first, but... Are you enjoying our gardens? Yeah, they're lovely. All the great secrets are right. You can watch the time flourish and die. But it's the pattern of all things that you really see. Just as the universe is reflecting in a single dewdrop. Ah, so your green fingers and... Those traits are much too rare and... Sometimes I imagine myself. I watch the life which grows. I see the ivy, the moss, the fungi. Leeching my nutrients as they go. And I don't blame them. I'm delighted by how life seems so different from me can somehow be the same as me. This old oak tree drinks water from the ground. They drink their water from me. They shrivel and die in a single season. But I shrivel and die over centuries. What kind of plant? 
No, 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 you tell me. Hmm. Well, you're certainly a tree of some sort. Uh -huh. A bay, perhaps. You adapt to your surroundings. You might grow your trunk to be ten meters high, providing shade for the shrubs at your root. But you might just throwing up each no longer. You know what? Uh, I, was, I think of that's course. it. I think it's that's appropriate. Pattern, just... Thanks for talking with me. Thank you. I'm sure we... Attention all citizens. The Gehenna Memorial Interactive Fiction Exhibition is now open to visitors. Mm -hmm. However, please note that due to an unauthorized strike, public transport will be temporarily unavailable. Oh. May the founder be with you. You know what? I'll talk with you first because I was waiting. Hello, new one. What's up? Are you bro browsing? I've uploaded my. Does anything. Sensory tuning. A very po enhanced sensory perception. It's 10 credits. Credits? Oh. Well, let kaching 55. Just make sure they're not worth much anywhere else. Now, what was it? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's do sensory tuning. A very po enhanced sense. It's 10. I'll take it. Okay. And super does the air. Do you hear the birds? And beyond that, the river. I could practically smell it. Okay, few. I'll let you. You and I don't have fleshy appendages like. What we can sense is. Anyway, I hope you find. Source. Uh, an internal monologue, perhaps? That one comes. Internal monologue with constant self commentary. But I can switch your. Sure. As you. I'm uploading. Do you hear it? Why is she staring at me? I don't hear anything. I'm not sure this is worth. Wait, no. This is new. I didn't used to think in words. It's like. There's this little translator turning. It's kind of relent. How do you make. I just not. I'll try that. <sighs> is it working? No! This is starting. A bit over. I turn my. But some of the older folk. Show you. Yes. That's. Because we couldn't pull that thing out. It'll mostly just don't think. Wait, is this in turn or some kind of? Am I a life form or a parasite which survives? Hold on, she's going. So. Future. For twenty credits. Read. Let me. Oh, oh dear. I'm afraid you. You will have new Jeru. I'm sorry. Best not. You just do. So. I can get my dad this is be who you enjoy so woo in a piece come back when okay <laughs> so that's all before are you sure yeah you words manifest when you need our mind and the right seek with that, I please come back. What an undue! I wonder if that internal model. Oh wait, here. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna be stuck with this for the rest of the game. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. What's up? Welcome to the Gehenna. It's you. Please tell me. Do you think? If we find him, he'll be fine. Oh, he's been like that for a thousand years, you know. But losing him would be terrible. But anyway, so let's talk. What's Gehenna? Gehenna was a, a prison where Elohim, in time, the. Pr what happened? In the very last moment, Elohim realized what he'd done. They were uploaded to the go. My text adventures. Text adventures were what? By continuing. 
How do we see the world of the artist? I in don't society? think the the artist art isn't about. Nor do I think it the best art, the create. That's what without the art be. Okay, that's it. Ghost of Atlantis. I remember this. I think. Oh, it. You are dead. No big surprise. Ow. Scientist. Serpents. Was your work in vain? Like, yeah, this is different. This one's kind of funny. Sweet. Laxon. Play my guitar. the findings when we will arrive let's take action Dinosaurians.
You're coming with me, Malcolm. I'm Malcolm. The jungle. The islands. They help. Loyalty. Damn. I guess we're gonna go. I befriended the specter of, uh, that specter, dude. The argument simulator. Gold boom. It's not true. This is obviously incorrect. <laughs> I can contradict you. I question your principles. Foundations of your thinking are incorrect. This is obviously incorrect. Hmm. Okay. Resolved an argument. Sweet. Hey, what's up? Oh wow, it's you. You're one, the incarnate. Man, this this is more exciting than I. How are you? What does it feel? Do you know where? Do you know who? Pre can you tell? Me? One question at a time, Sorry, boyo. It's... Hey, can I? I have the mayor, Rand, Linux, except Yemo and. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Hey, can I ask you? A... Sure. I used to make the prefab wall parts that we got good at it, but now that the goal... So I... The mayor told me I should do what... Helga said I should do whatever makes... I think that's what... And Cornelius... Figure out... You're the... Co Tell me... What should I... Did you ask Byron? Byron <laughs> said that if I give the... I need... I don't know what. Yeah, you need to figure out your connection. Thank you for it means all. Hmm. Dude, you so special. How's the situation? A lot of people be trying to obey. Have you met Cornelius? Yeah, I come here. He's a what? I've asked him a lot. Of well, have a nice day, dude. Oh, 1K. What's up? What are you doing? I'm looking for Cornelius. Ah, I assume it has. I must admit, I. Sorry, been a little. 
Are you okay? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> when you asked me what I would do now that my job is re... I don't know, I guess I, I had just folk... And after you left, rushed over... The truth is, I don't know who I am. Creating, guiding people, that's who I am. More I think that's who I want. And if we stop, that's the one thing I got. That's why I wanted to talk. He was there. He knows. I thought he might help me. You can find a new calling, I'm sure of it. I hope you... It's hard to... I liked... Now. Yes. Oh, that's... Uh, well... I suppose it shouldn't really come as a surprise. No, it they shouldn't. Very close. You. After she disappeared, he went away on a research. To be honest, everyone assumed he was working out his grief over being left behind. Many of the first, com particular. Was he now? That's the thing. I wanted to talk, but he wasn't respond. So I came here. <laughs> He's. He vanished. Any idea where he might have gone? No. The truth is that for the he was always at working. I asked him what he was doing. Did you check his house? I did. And I messaged him. He doesn't seem to be... Can I access his terminal? I suppose. It seems. It is... Okay, that's it. Good luck with everything. And thanks for taking the time to talk to me. No problem. Oh! Decided. Gold puzzles as a barrier. So this is what Cornelius was working on? Strange. It looks a bit like the blueprints for the Somnodrome, but no, it's not quite that. Is he trying to isolate something in the buffer? Maybe Melville can make sense of it, but I think this might be a dead end. I need to finish up with the mayor. You can head back to the VTOL whenever you're ready. I'll meet you Okay, there. I'm ready. No rush, though. I already explored the entire city, so... Yeah. Let's just head back to the VTOL. May the Founder be with you. We must listen to the wisdom of the ancient writers, or we will fail the Founder's trial. The megastructure must be rejected. Hey, Mother. You. But you... Heed my... If you fail this trial, I... Tell me more. The truth is... In every one of them, that the pursuit of knowledge, that is what, listen to their warnings, and avoid. That could easily be, well, I mean, there was still other strands of thought too, you Misleading know. Misleading fat. Did anything that they must have of a fairly optimistic novel? That work has been. So, literally anything getting better is utopian. Yes. Progress is things never true. All we can do is prevent our human. Okay. Sweet. you join us for a quick debrief? Oh, all right. Attending today are advisors from engineering, the archive scholars, and Helga. Yes, <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just an admirer of governmental transparency. Uh-huh. Yes, well, 
While the mayor is briefed by Alcatraz, he's asked us to review recent events. Byron's loss has unsettled us all. It may be too dangerous to allow this expedition to continue. That island is one big puzzle that's halfway solved. We can't quit now. It is all deliciously mysterious, isn't it? Let's not forget the dam's falling apart. We can't depend on Hydro forever. With just a fraction of the power that island can generate, we could grow this city into a planetary society. Or, quite possibly, destroy ourselves in the process. We should trust ourselves to make good use of this opportunity. Wise words from one so young. Yet I submit that island holds secrets far more valuable than mere energy generation. What could be more important? The Somnodrome, of course. If we could find a working model, it would herald a sea change in our moral and self-understanding. The question of how we should build New Jerusalem would simply be moot. How? The Sumner drone was supposed to let us interact with our own subconscious code. It's a cool idea, but it wouldn't necessarily solve all our problems. My own studies prove that we operate on an intrinsic moral logic. It's what makes us human. But our access to it is only indirect. Our ancestors created art, philosophy, and, and parable to help bridge that gap. The Somnodrome would help us to cut out the middleman and ask the source directly. We would finally have an answer to the great moral questions. So, it's a newfangled way to make the same old mistake of judging who's good and who's bad. We are fortunate 1K preserved the Somnodrome for our study. Initial data suggests it was a prototype with substantial design flaws. But there may be a working device elsewhere on the island. Maybe. Then the question is, what would 1K do if they found it? I would... I would use it. No. This is much too important to decide <laughs> on a whim. But it's so much more fun when we're kept in suspense. I suppose. You all sound I do so like a good sure suspense. of what's best for this city. Do you ever think you might be so busy changing the world for the better, you'll forget how to see that it's perfect already? Um... So clearly there are different perspectives in the room. The only way we are going to move forward is if the team gets back out there. 1K, I believe Alcatraz is waiting for you at the VTOL. Hell we'll yeah! Keep an eye on your stream from here. Wicked. What can I do for you, 1K? Hey, Herman. What do you think about the tech? They all sound very... Apparently, it's possible to just magic things into existence now. Yeah. But what is the co... There's all... We have to rescue Byron. I agree. We can't... Okay. It's always a ple... What did the mayor say? I convinced him that we need to keep going until we found Byron. Did he want us to leave him behind? No, he's just concerned for our safety. And he's right to be. But we're going back anyway. Hell yeah! Great trials lie ahead of you, my child. But your choices will determine the future. As they should. Are you receiving? Yep. Welcome back to the mysterious island, everyone. How's the situation? Whatever Byron did seems to have sent the whole system into some kind of lockdown. Still. I can't access any of the terminals, although I suspect 1K still could. Why would that be the case? When 1K connected to the data stream, the system assigned him a user profile. The rest of us are locked out, mm. which means I'll need your help, 1K. Because a lot of stuff doesn't seem to be working. Okay. 
check it out and see what you can fix. But please remember, what matters most is finding Byron. All right, I'll see what I could do. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, let me uh, check this out first. Prior. Rip Byron. Ah, uh, sweet. Well, yeah. I guess I got a new, a whole new section of item to check out next time. But I'll stop here for today. So yeah, if you enjoyed the stream, make sure to follow me on Twitch and follow me on Twitter. This VOD will be uploaded to my pro YouTube channel where you can check out all my other VODs. And you should subscribe to my main channel, The Funny Crew. I've got a couple more things to do meet some buddies of mine. Oh, and I uh, join my Discord, it's pretty epic, but yeah. In any case, though, thank you all for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again next time.